Hello again. We're going to look really quickly today at something simple that you can do with your preset folders and have a big impact in your time spent on editing, in your workflow. This has been something that has made a big, big change in how quickly I can move through edits. So when you're in Lightroom, you're in the develop mode, develop tab up here, and you have your column of presets on your left side. And what you want to do is make sure that you have everything organized. And it sounds like something really basic and simple to do, but it's amazing how quickly preset files can just accumulate. When you start working and playing with them, you start accumulating free downloads and purchases and presets that you create yourself. And before you know it, you have this huge library, which is really great to have at your fingertips, but you spend a lot of time flipping through presets for each photo or for each set and picking and choosing which ones you want to work with, where if you have some system of organization set up where you can name the folders and name the presets in a way that will help you quickly jump from one section to another, it would save you so much time in the long run. So the first thing you want to do is know how to create and rename a folder. So you have all these folders in here and if you click anywhere in this box, you can either right click or if you're on a Mac, control click. The menu comes up, you want to create new folder. Title it whatever you want. So we're just going to call it test. And here is your new folder. Now there's nothing in it right now. You can either do your edits and save a new preset with the plus sign up here. You save a preset and then you tell it which folder to save it in. So we would tell it to save it in the test folder. Or if you want to organize your existing presets, you can go to one of your folders or if you have presets that are not in folders. And it's as easy as click and drag. So click on this one and drag it to the folder and now it's in my test folder. It is that simple. Click and drag and just organize your presets, put them in the folders that make the most sense to you. Whether you want to organize them by type of photo that they're going to apply to, you know, you might have a section for landscapes, you might have a section for portraits, or whether you want to organize them by the type of effect. Maybe you have a cluster of presets that are high contrast. Maybe you have some that add grain. Maybe you have some that are vintage looks. However you want to organize them, that works best for what you do and for the style of photos that you deliver to clients or for your art. So very, very simple thing to do. And finally, I just want to touch on renaming things. You are not stuck with the name that a file has when it's created or when it's downloaded. So say I created this folder, but I want to call it something different. So I want to call it something for portraits. You right click or control click again, rename, and I'm going to rename it portraits. And now I know that that folder is going to have presets that are specifically geared towards portraits, or maybe they're the ones that I most commonly use for portraits. Same thing goes for the presets. I have this preset in here. I have my own system where I put arch at the beginning because it's for architecture, or I might put um, pastel in the beginning or past for pastels. However, I want to organize it. I like to put the label, so to speak, of the category in the beginning so it clusters them together. But say, for example, I want to change what this one is called. Maybe I'm no longer using it for architectural, so I might now put port for portrait. And there we go. And now I have a portrait preset in the portraits folder. So when I'm going to edit portraits for a client or for family or friends or just for myself, I can jump to that folder and know that those are my go-to presets for folders and I don't have to keep searching through everything I have and everything I've ever downloaded or created. So I hope that this helps you guys save a lot of time. I know it's been a huge influence on my workflow and it's one of those things that it's a small change but can have a huge impact. So 
go out there, organize your folders, get organized for the new year, make sure that you are saving every bit of time that you can so you can have more time to enjoy away from the computer. And I will see you guys next time.